Hello guys, this is Navin Reddy. In this in this tutorials, we'll talk about string splitting. Now, now let's say we have a main function. In this, I have a a CSV file. CSV file means which is comma separated values. In those files, you'll be having lots of data, and all those values are separated with commas. So what I mean is, let's have a string called str, and the value for this str is let's say values are uh, Navin. Then it's separated with a comma, then say Mahesh, a comma, and then Rahul, a comma, and then let's say Vijay. I have these four values, and all those four values are separated with commas. Now, what I want, I want to print those values, but one value at a time. Let's say I want to print Navin, then I have to print Mahesh, or I have to print Rahul or Vijay, or just I have to print Rahul then. Now, in this scenario, uh, let's say I want to print. If I print str, it will print the whole string. Example: If I run this, just to learn. Now, now if I run this, you can see here it's and the output will be it will print the whole string, which is Navin, Mahesh, Rahul, and Vijay. What I want to print, I just want to print this part, which is Rahul. So what we can do is we can just simply go. Uh, we can use a method in string called as split. Now this split will do is it will ask you for a regex, which means on, uh, on which using which uh, which character you want to split. I want to specify the character we want to split is using comma. Okay. Now this split method will split your string. Wherever you see a comma, it will it will create a new string. That means this Navin will be one string, this Mahesh will be second string, this Rahul will be the third string, and Vijay will be fourth string. That means we are getting an array of a string here. Uh, here. So what we can do, we can just create a we can say names array. Okay, so this this split will create an array, and then you can print it. Now how to print it? Just go here and say. I want Rahul, that means I want to print only this second index. This is index number 0, index number 1, index number 2, right? Now, if I run this code, it will print only Rahul. And that's the advantage, right? So we can we can use this method called a split to split your array. In fact, if you want to print all the values, we can again use something called as enhanced for loop, where we can use string, let's say, a val in names, and then we can simply print here your val. Now it will print all the names starting with Naveen, Mahesh, Rahul and Vijay. Again we are getting some uh, space here is because we have mentioned a space. Okay, so what it will do, it will just remove this comma and it will print the remaining part. And that is how you can split a string. Again a point to be noted here, your string str is immutable. Okay, you cannot, you cannot uh, change the values. Again immutable doesn't mean you cannot uh, specify a new value here. I can simply say it is str equal to hello we can say that right but it, it will create a new set of new value in your uh, string pool okay so uh, again if you know about mutability and immutability mutability is achieved using using string buffer immutability is your string class okay so this is how we can split a string uh, that's for this video if you uh, do, th thanks for watching